So now we know about functions and we know about variables. Now when it comes to functions, you know we can have multiple functions, right? The way we have here. So we have calc as a one function, then we have main as a second function. Now can we have a variable which can be accessed in multiple functions? So what I'm saying is, uh, for time in what I will do is I will not be returning anything from this function and we'll name this function as demo instead of going for calc. And let's not do anything here. Let's skip a blank. A function which will not accept anything it's just a blank function and then from main as well let me just remove everything except this uh, println I want that in the code so what I do is I want to create a variable now if you get a variable here so let's say in demo I'm getting a variable which is var a uh, is equal to 9 so we got a very simple variable right now my question for everyone is uh, is just that you know I'm not using that variable that's what it's saying let me just print that variable here I will say fmt dot print ln inside this I'll just just print a okay so we got a variable and then we are printing it so my question for everyone is uh, first of all will this work let's let's try that so I will ask you a question but then before that I, will, I just want to call uh, demo so you can you can see I'm calling demo uh, what do you think will it work let's try let's see and yeah we got the output we got nine so my question for everyone is and once I complete the question, what you have to do is you have to pause the video, go to the comment section and answer it. Let's see who answers first and who answers right. And it's okay if, even if you make mistake, that's how you learn, right? Okay, so you got this variable A. So my question is, can I print the value of A here? So if I type A, since I'm not saving this code, that's why you're not getting any error or I'm not even, I don't even know if there's an error in this code. So what do you think? Can I access A there? So if I say save, so pause this video, comment your answer, and then play it. So I hope you have answered, let me just try. So the moment you click on save, you can see we got an error. It says undefined A, but this is defined, right? So this variable A is there. The problem is every variable has a scope, or you can say a level. So when you say a scope, it can be a function level variable, or it can be a package level variable. So when you say function level, what it means? When you declare a variable inside a function, it is used in that function only. And that's why you can see here, when you print A, there's no error. But the moment you try to use this A outside that function, inside main, uh, you got an error, which says uh, it's undefined. So that's that's the point. So by default, this var A is a function level. So it can be used in that function only. But what if you want to use a variable in multiple functions? How do we do that? And that's right, we can use a package level variable. How to do that? It's very simple. Just cut this part and go back here and paste. The moment you do that, now it becomes a package level variable because you're not declaring it inside a function, you're declaring it outside the function, right? Uh, which we are doing here. And now you can see there's no error in this code and there's no error in this code. So what I will do, I will just run this code just to verify if it is working. And you can see we got two times nine because one is because of demo and second is because of this main function. So that's how we can access this. Now with this, I have one more question. What if, let me just, let me just print something. I will say in demo, just to have, just to know that, you know, these two are two different statements. Uh, I will say in main and then I will give a comma. That's how you can print multiple statements. Okay, so now my question is, what if, if I go back to demo and here if I create one more variable, a is equal to eight. So what do you think, what it will print? Of course, there is no error because we have two variables of different scope. Yes, if you have one more variable here with, with the same name, uh, then that will be issue. So you can see the moment you save, you, you got an error here. It says a redeclared in this block. Previously declaration was here. So you can't do that. You, can, you can't have two variables with the same name in the same scope. Uh, but then this A here is in package scope, this A is in function scope, right, or function level. Uh, if I try to print this value A, what it, will, what it will print? Will it print 8 or will it print 9? Again, pause the video, comment your answer, and then resume. So I hope you commented. Let me just go back here and say enter, and you can see we got 8. The reason we got 8 is because the function will always give preference to its own variable, the local variable basically, or you can say a function variable. If the, if the variable is not available inside the function, then only it will go for the package variable. Uh, example in this case, main we don't have a variable as a local or as a function level variable. And that's why it's going for the package level. Now the same concept is available in different languages. So we normally call these variables as local, uh, this as global, 
But in, in uh, Go, we call them as function level and package level. So I hope you are enjoying the series. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.